Henry Taub, Ph.D., M.Sc., B.Sc., F.R.Sc. November 30, 1915 to November 16, 2005, was a Canadian-born American chemist noted for having been awarded the 1983 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in the mechanisms of electron transfer reactions, especially in metal complexes. He was the second Canadian-born chemist to win the Nobel Prize, and remains the only Saskatchewanian-born Nobel laureate. Taub completed his undergraduate and master's degrees at the University of Saskatchewan, and his Ph.D. from the University of California, Berkeley. After finishing graduate school, Taub worked at Cornell University, the University of Chicago and Stanford University. In addition to the Nobel Prize, Taub also received many other major scientific awards, including the Priestley Medal in 1985 and two Guggenheim Fellowships early in his career 1949 and 1955, as well as numerous honorary doctorates. His research focused on redox reactions, transition metals and the use of isotopically labeled compounds to follow reactions. He had over 600 publications including one book, and had mentored over 200 students during his career. Taub and his wife Mary had three children, his son Carl is an anthropologist at the University of California Riverside. Education At 12, Taub left his hometown and moved to Regina to attend Luther College where he completed high school. After graduating, Taub stayed at Luther College and worked as laboratory assistant for Paul Liefeld, allowing him to take first-year university classes. Taub attended the University of Saskatchewan, receiving his B.S.C. in 1935 and his M.S.C. in 1937. His thesis advisor at the University of Saskatchewan was John Spinks. While at the University of Saskatchewan, Taub studied with Gerhard Herzberg, who would be awarded the 1971 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He moved to University of California, Berkeley, where he completed his Ph.D. studies in 1940. His Ph.D. mentor was William Bray. Taub's graduate research focused on the photodecomposition of chlorine dioxide and hydrogen peroxide in solution. <laughs> research and academic career Academic <laughs> 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 posts <laughs> After completing his education, Taub remained in the United States, becoming an instructor in chemistry at Berkeley until 1941. He initially wanted to return to Canada to work, but did not receive a response when he applied for jobs at the major Canadian universities. From Berkeley, he served as an instructor and assistant professor at Cornell University until 1946. During World War II, Taub served on the National Defense Research Committee. Taub spent time at the University of Chicago as an assistant professor, associate professor, and as a full professor from 1946 to 61. He served as chair of the chemistry department in Chicago from 1956 to 59, but did not enjoy administrative work. After leaving Chicago, Taub worked as a professor at Stanford University until 1986, a position that allowed him to focus on research, while also teaching classes at the undergraduate and graduate levels. He became a professor emeritus at Stanford in 1986, but he continued to perform research until 2001, and visited his labs every day until his death in 2005. In addition to his academic duties, Taub also served as a consultant at Los Alamos National Laboratory from 1956 until the 1970s. <laughs> research interests Taub's initial research at Cornell University focused on the same areas he studied as a graduate student, oxidizing agents containing oxygen and halogens, and redox reactions featuring these species. He used isotopically labeled oxygen-18 and radioactive chlorine to study these reactions. He was recognized by the American Chemical Society in 1955 for his isotope studies. Taub's interest in coordination chemistry was sparked when he was chosen to develop a course on advanced inorganic chemistry while at the University of Chicago. He was unable to find much information in the textbooks available at the time. Taub realized that his work on the substitution of carbon in organic reactions could be related to inorganic complexes. In 1952, Taub published a key paper relating the rates of chemical reactions to electronic structure in chemical reviews. 
This research was the first to recognize the correlation between the rate of ligand substitution and the d-electron configuration of the metal. Taub's key discovery was the way molecules build a type of chemical bridge, rather than simply exchanging electrons, as previously thought. Identifying this intermediate step explained why reactions between similar metals and ions occurred at different rates. His paper in Chemical Reviews was developed while on sabbatical in the late 1940s. An article in Science called this paper, "...one of the true classics in inorganic chemistry," after his Nobel Prize was announced. Taub researched ruthenium and osmium, both elements have a high capacity for back bonding. This type of electron donation was key when studying the way electrons are transferred between molecules in a chemical reaction. When looking back on his research, Taub explained that he sometimes had difficulty finding graduate students willing to work on electron transfer reactions, as they preferred to work on more exciting projects in his laboratory focusing on the effects of isotopic tracers and kinetics. Taub felt that a primary flaw with his correlation between electron configuration and ligand substitution was that it was described mainly in terms of valence bond theory, as crystal field theory and ligand field theory were not well established when he published his work in 1952. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honors <laughs> <laughs> Nobel Prize Taub was awarded the 1983 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, "...for his work on the mechanisms of electron transfer reactions, especially in metal complexes." He received his award on December 8, 1983, with the presentation speech being delivered by Ingvar Lindquist of the Swedish Royal Academy of Sciences. Taub's Nobel lecture was entitled, "...electron transfer between metal complexes, retrospective." His Nobel Prize was the first awarded to a Canadian-born chemist. Taub's win was the first for an inorganic chemist since 1913 Alfred Werner, breaking a long string of awards to organic chemists. His initial paper in Chemical Reviews was 30 years old at the time of his Nobel Prize victory, but the correlation he described between the rate of ligand substitution and electronic configuration for transition metal coordination complexes was still the predominant theory about the reaction chemistry of these compounds. After being awarded the Nobel Prize, Taub noticed a side benefit to the prestigious award, his students paid better attention in class. Other awards Taub was accepted as a member of the National Academy of Sciences in 1959. President Jimmy Carter presented Taub with the 1976 President's National Medal of Science in recognition of contributions to the understanding of reactivity and reaction mechanisms in inorganic chemistry." In 1985, Taub received the American Chemical Society's highest honor, the Priestley Medal, which is awarded to recognize "...distinguished services to chemistry." He was awarded Guggenheim Fellowships in 1949 and 1955. Taub was made an honorary member of the College of Chemists of Catalonia and Beléares 1984, the Canadian Society of Chemists 1986, and the Hungarian Academy of Sciences 1988. He was also awarded an honorary fellowship in the Royal Society of Chemistry 1989 and the Indian Chemical Society 1989 and elected a Fellow of the Royal Society FRS in 1988. Taub received honorary degrees from many institutions, including the University of Saskatchewan 1973, the University of Chicago 1983, the Polytechnic Institute of New York 1984, the State University of New York Stony Brook 1985, the University of Guelph 1987, Seton Hall University 1988, the Lajos Kossuth University of Debrecen in Hungary 1988, and Northwestern University 1990, a Nobel Laureate Plaza on the University of Saskatchewan's campus in honor of Taub and Gerhard Herzberg was dedicated in 1997. Topic: <inaudible> Legacy. In 1981, Taub became a founding member of the World Cultural Council. As of 1997, Taub had over 600 publications and had worked with over 250 students. He published a book, Electron Transfer Reactions of Complex Ions in Solution Current Chemical Concepts in 1970. 
His students have had faculty positions at many prestigious universities, including Cornell, Rutgers, Georgetown, and Georgia Tech. Together with graduate student Carol Kreutz, he is the namesake of the Kreutz Taub complex, a metal complex with the formula Ru NH3 5 2 C4 H4 N2 5. His research contributions have been honored in several ways, including a symposium at the 1982 annual American Chemical Society meeting. The annual series Progress in Inorganic Chemistry dedicated its 30th volume to Taub, entitled, An Appreciation of Henry Taub. Luther College in Regina, Saskatchewan offers an annual scholarship to an entering science student in honor of Taub and his science teacher, Paul Liefeld. A seminar series was created in honor of his work at Stanford. Taub gave the inaugural lecture in the series. Colleagues remember Taub as a dedicated scientist, Jim Coleman of Stanford said. Henry was a scientist scientist and a dominant figure in the field of inorganic chemistry." Harry Gray, a professor at California Institute of Technology said, "...he was in a class by himself, a role model and leader whom we all admired and loved." Former student Peter Ford remembers that Taub, "...made chemistry not only challenging and stimulating, but a lot of fun as well." Personal life Taub was born November 30, 1915 in Newdorf, Saskatchewan as the youngest of four boys. His parents were German ethnics from Ukraine which had immigrated to Saskatchewan from the Ukraine in 1911. Growing up, his first language was Low German. In the 1700s, Catherine the Great encouraged Central European farmers to settle in Russia. As the rights afforded to these settlers by Catherine were gradually diminished, many of the settlers headed to North America, with Saskatchewan offering good farmland, and other incentives for immigrants. Taub reflected fondly on his experiences growing up in Saskatchewan, noting, "...certainly, there is nothing about my first 21 years in Saskatchewan, taken in the context of those times that I would wish to be changed." The advantages that I enjoyed include, the marvelous experience of growing up on a farm, which taught me an appreciation of nature, and taught me also to discipline myself to get necessary jobs done." After completing his graduate studies, Taub became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1942. Taub married his wife, Mary in 1952. They had three children, Carl, Heinrich and Linda. His stepdaughter, Mariana died of cancer in 1998. When he stopped his active research projects in 2001, Taub continued to be available as a reviewer and consultant, but his main goal was, "...enjoying life." Away from chemistry, Taub had varied interests including gardening and classical music, mainly opera. In 2003, he was one of 22 Nobel laureates who signed the Humanist Manifesto. Henry Taub died in his home in Palo Alto, California on November 16, 2005, at the age of 89. Topic references Topic Publications Taub, H., Jackson, J. A. and J. F. Lemons. Oxygen 17 NMR shifts caused by CR sup plus plus in aqueous solutions, Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency the Atomic Energy Commission, 1962. Taub, H. Reactions of Solvated Ions Final Report, University of Chicago, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency the Atomic Energy Commission, September 24, 1962. Taub, H. and A. Viste. Isotopic Discrimination of Some Solutes in Liquid Ammonia, University of Chicago, Stanford University, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency The Atomic Energy Commission, 1966. Taub, H. Final Technical Report of Research, Stanford University, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency The Atomic Energy Commission, April 3, 1972. Topic. External links Media related to Henry Taub at Wikimedia Commons